girls from all the way out here from Johns. Us would be in bed by now. <laughs> We waited up for this uh, movie production <laughs> we go to, but uh, had a good Sabbath day and everything's going good. Weather's nice, and, but uh, missed you on the desert. <laughs> yeah, we had a good desert. Boy, you can't believe the great the grass is out there about four inches tall. It looks like a carpet. It is just beautiful. No wood, can't be, can't we, cook. No mosquito wood. We got all kind of wood for fires. That was a real nice fire. We can't, the only place we can get mosquito wood is go way up there where old we by the old airstrip and it would. So John's talking about going out and getting a big load of it. So we'll have it out there. But it's supposed to have rain tomorrow. They're talking, it don't look like it's that bad, but he said it's supposed to be showers in the morning. Kind of hate that because I'm afraid of my pigeons and I can't take them out tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We were arguing about Tink turning 70. Eight, and I said, no, you don't have to turn 78. He says, what do you mean? I'm going to be 78. I'm 79. I'm mean, 79. I said, you don't have to be 79 to say, I'm not 79. That's why, Bob. I think my, my page tells you how old I am. My body. I'm ancient. Give my, still okay. packing my yeah. hole in my, in my belly, Bob. Still packing that thing. Just won't heal up. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's wanting to close up so bad. Nurse had to take a little tiny stick and shove the gauze in there this morning. You may have to go in and cut it. Might have to cut it. Open a little bit to still stuff it. Still got to close from the inside out. So Our nurse Karen that comes in says, oh, let's just put some lard in there. That's just fat. <laughs> Feel it over. <laughs> See it over. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a menace. Every morning, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, yeah. Can't leave town. We couldn't come up and see if we wanted to. So that's why you guys wanted to be in bed at night. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm sweating right over an hour and all that kind of stuff. I was just thinking not even. <laughs> so, uh, people at home teach this morning, they said, this morning one said, well, mine went on for about a year before it healed up. I said, oh, oh. I said, oh. You know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm bad, Jake. Anyhow, I'm teaching my wife, she's watching, so. Uh, I'll never do it. <clears throat> I'll never do this. Uh, the reason why is just the other day the nurse was packing it and she went to reach for something else and I mean blood gushed out of the hole. And I I said, Karen, look, look, and she's oh my gosh. <laughs> Put the pa pressure on it and finally syringed it down enough that it didn't bleed anymore. But if I'd have been the one doing it, I would have called 911 without even taking even saying, don't do it. I said, uh -uh. <laughs> So he better not have me do it. I'll be panicking. <laughs> well, come to see us, Bob, when you ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> we still live in the same old place. Same place, same shine. Same station. Um, we have to say goodbye to the, our Taurus. It's going back to stay with Cinda. Hopefully she'll have a car that'll run when it gets back. I'll get some money for it in the last, next ten years. Ever since Christmas, <laughs> she. Ever since Christmas, one car blew up on the radiator. She's blind, binding on the excitement plan. When I get money, I'll be excited. <laughs> Just got home and they fixed it, and she went to take the little girl to a primary thing and came home and. Radiator blew up again. <laughs> Must be Missouri, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Brent and his buddy's going to drive it back February 8th. So it'll be goodbye. And she'll fly him home. Okay. Well, we'll see you, Bob. I think that's enough wasting the tape here. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't slow, can she? <laughs> It's like he's spending money or something. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bob! I watched BYU. Pitiful, pitiful basketball. But we're still ahead. We're eight points ahead at the half against New Mexico. Hope you guys are doing pretty good up there. You're freezing your butt off, probably. <laughs> it rained last night down here. Did you guys get rain? A little bit. It rained on us. I woke up at night and couldn't mm -hmm. believe it. It was raining here. But uh, I hope you're getting younger instead of uh, <laughs> older. 
to get up in there in the mountains, I probably won't have to climb up on that RV of yours. <laughs> 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 I can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, why well, you come on up there? We'll get you all set up. See what we have to do. <laughs> and, uh, it might be working. Come on out the desert this Saturday. We're going to have a good party out there in the desert. <laughs> it's beautiful out there. Green, green and a gourd. We're getting this rain this week. It, I tell you, it's beautiful out there. We were out there last Saturday. And uh, it's it's the greenest I've seen it in a long time. Oh, it really it's is. so much. Yeah. But, uh, Hope you guys have a good birthday up there. I wouldn't mind going up there and seeing that place sometime. See what it's like up there. I saw some pictures, that's about it. But uh, better get your health under control. <laughs> I know Lunil's trying to. <laughs> and I guess everybody's, we get, we're next. We're, we're next, we're the next generation to die off. <laughs> you know, so. I guess the Morrises are going to be dying off like flies, you know, one of these years. But uh, I think we'll just live probably another 30 years. I think that'll be all right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> be fine. But uh, you guys, see if you can convert those Lamanites out there. I'm going to have to come up there and get a ride on that helicopter. I've never been down to the bottom. I've been to the bottom of Grand Canyon, but I've never been there. Oh, yeah. And I want to go down there and see what it's like down there. You definitely got to visit them. They'll take you I down. Gotta, I got to go up there. Sherry and I will see if we can get up there sometime. But right now, I'm in that old tax season right now. I'm starting out. It's going to be pretty Crazy. busy until April 15th, probably. So come on down. Let's go out to the desert this Saturday, <laughs> cook us up with some a steak or whatever. I'll bring some oranges out there. Oranges. <laughs> Best oranges I've had this year. Sherry and I were just talking about it. really sweet this year. Mm. Naval oranges we have in the back. Mm, it's all that but, uh, I'm uh, I'm glad we finally got some sweet oranges. My grass outside is greener than gore. This is the best my grass ever looked because of the rain. Mm -hmm. Only the rain. But uh, looks good. Talk to Oz on the email Saturday. And got an email message back. And I guess Catfish has already moved out there living with Bobby mm -hmm. and uh, Danny. I don't know what he's doing, but I guess when they get on their feet, they're supposed to be giving him some land out there so they build on it or put a trailer around, whatever on it. Hmm. So, uh, other than that, I guess he's doing all right back there. So, uh... And how's all your kids? You wouldn't believe it. We were on speaking of television. I'm on TV right now. <laughs> yeah. Are we on? You were on. When was it? When was it? Two weeks? Can't remember now. Two weeks ago or three weeks? Friday. Uh, Mandy and Wendy, of course, was expecting. And uh, so Marie, Mandy, called uh, Sherry and says, well, she's ready to go to the hospital. So Wendy and, and Sherry took her to the hospital. And uh, while she was progressing there, Wendy started getting pains, and four hours later she had her. So they oh, both oh. they had the, oh, the babies on the same day, the same, same day. doctor, oh. room by room, right beside each other. Oh, and goodness. the hospital called the TV stations, and they were on Channel 3, Channel 15, oh. for that night and the next morning, and interviewed them there at the hospital. But that's amazing. I think it was the 7th, January 7th. Uh, both of them were born, born. Marie had a little girl, and Wendy had a little boy. Did they have uh, a little I think it's Marie's. It was Maya. Maya? Maya, I think. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, Maya and, little and uh, Wendy's boys, Cooper. Cooper. Cooper, that's Cooper. <laughs> Danny Ames has a Cooper. Oh, does he? Uh-huh. 
I don't know where they come up with that name, but uh, <laughs> come up with Cooper. That's pretty cool. But uh, and they're all doing good. Everybody's doing pretty good, uh, healthy, and uh, everybody's still active in the church. I think. <laughs> That's why, I mean, praise the Lord, you know. <laughs> if you can get them to go to church, I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Nowadays. Yeah. Oh. But, <clears throat> all the grandkids are good. I, was with, I saw Ted the other night after the desert went by uh, uh, Brandon's house and they were playing some ping pong. So, Ted and... Uh, Brandon and Darren and I were battling on the ping pong table. <laughs> Who won? Uh, of course, I defeated all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> of course, I defeated all of them. I can't help it. I defeated them. <laughs> then about the fifth game, I couldn't even stand up. <laughs> my legs were, were gone. <laughs> so, the other night, we're doing pretty good. Okay. Always room for improvement. <laughs> I'll see you when you come down. Recording. Alright, we're, we're here with Ole. He's super tired. He's ready to go home from the day. Sitting in his truck ready to fall asleep. And uh, so he's going to say hi. Hi, Bo. I love you. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> no. T tell, him, tell him about your house. Ted, God, Ted called me, Bubba, coming out of the shop, and I'm telling you, son, you know, I just had the trouble with my sciatic nerve. I got to go through like all Morris's. My knee's killing me because of my fat butt. I don't know. Anyway... I miss you, well, I really miss you a lot. I miss you being out on the desert when I can walk up to you and say, let's talk about White River. No, I always say, we've been here. We've been here 10 seconds and you haven't said a word about White River yet. I'm already planning on it. I got me a diesel truck now so I can pull that cotton picking fifth wheel up there without any trouble. Oh, Josh has got old Dooley. I sold, we sold our house and two months ago, paid off everything. Having a home built out in uh, Clean Creek on East Ocotillo Road. Three miles, two miles east of Sneff Road. In other words, we are out there in the desert where I love it. John, he says, Oli, you don't know how much I appreciate you coming out here. He says, do you love the Queen Creek? I said, not like you do, John. <laughs> not like you do. I said, I haven't been, I haven't spent much time at Queen Creek, really. But I do love the desert. Anyway, and uh, I hope you can make it next uh, White River time. He won't do it, huh? I think he's going to try to make it for all of June, that's it. All of June. You better make all of June, because I don't want to look over there and you not be over there sitting in that chair reading the true church scriptures. <laughs> We've got a big, big program lined up uh, for our program in February for the whole south side. Cassie Grand, Coolidge, Maricopa. A uh, whole area release society conference. We're really tickled to death about it, so we got to get prepared to do that. Otherwise, everybody's doing fine. I don't want to take any more time. And, uh, but I do love you, Bob, and uh, look forward to seeing you in June. <laughs>